interacting with international artists or artists outside of my area helped to spark a different dialogue. And um, we sometimes feel isolated in Hawaii that we are just having this conversation by ourselves. But actually the world is having the conversation, especially in the indigenous communities. And so it's nice to be able to um, have the dialogue with other people and realize that you're on the same path. You know, so I do um, gatherings or um, interactions with um, a lot of indigenous people, you know, Polynesians, Maori people, Tahitians, um, Southwest Indians or American Indians, Northwest First People, you know, and learning the politics of all of that. And I think it encourages us and it helps us to um, also um, articulate and understand this world better through those interactions and exchanges. You know, so I encourage that for my students. I think I take my students at the university traveling to these gatherings a lot. And I believe that the learning environment is big time for them. That whole experience, they cannot get in a classroom. You know, they, they get it in a different way and it's quicker and it's, the impact is really um, strong compared to little lessons all the way along. I think it's all important, but some of those exposures, you know, when you travel, you have to learn tolerance. You learn about yourself, you learn about other cultures, you know, you understand other cultures. Then you can contrast your culture and appreciate your culture and your place better, you know, your sense of place better. You know, my students inspire me. Um, anyone I come in contact inspire, inspires me. I think we have to be open and flexible to that and see that in everyone.